Hello, Wildcats. Welcome to art. My name is Mrs. Gill, and I'm going to be your art teacher. There are many things that I like, but my favorite thing is reading. Obviously, I love art. And I like a lot of different colors, but my favorite colors are the colors of the rainbow. I love to eat cookies, too. There are many things we're going to be doing in art, um, but before we start, we know that there are rules all over the school, so the art room also has rules. Number one rule will be to respect each other. This is the most important rule all over the school. Number two, properly use supplies, tools, and materials as demonstrated. Before each lesson, I will show you how to use your materials. Number three, come prepared to work. Sit in your assigned seat. It might seem kind of boring, but it is important that we sit in our assigned seats. This way it's easier for me to learn your names and to remember where you're supposed to be sitting. Number three. Oh, sorry. Number four, clean up after yourself. This is really important even if you are doing remote learning at home. Don't forget to clean after you've been doing your art. Number five, be creative and use your imagination. This is extra important. Remember that your artwork is your own, so always try to be original. Now, what materials are you gonna be needing? For the first few days of school, you will bring your own pencil box to art. This way, you will not have to share any materials. You don't have to buy anything extra. You will bring the materials listed on your school supply list. For example, pencils, crayons or markers, erasers, scissors and a glue stick. All of this is listed in the Komala ISD website under GFES school supply list. If you're doing remote learning, you will need the same exact supplies. And you can add any other art supplies that you would like to, like paint or oil markers or oil pastels. Sorry. Remember, if you are not doing remote learning, you don't need to buy any extra materials. This is an example of how the supply list looks on the website. When you are looking for it, you can Google Golding Fresher Elementary School Supplies and you will find this page. Now, what would you learn in art class? We're going to learn many different things, but mainly we're going to learn about the elements of art. These elements are the building blocks of art. They're the ingredients of art. Also, we're going to learn about the principles of design. The principles of design represent how the artist uses those elements of art. And we're going to learn about art appreciation. Art also teaches many important skills and qualities, like listening, observing, and responding to multiple perspectives. We're going to talk a lot about art history, like famous artists or art techniques. Artists become famous either for their unique style or the characteristics that exude in the world of art. And art techniques is just the different ways that people can make art. We're gonna learn about art from around the world. Our philosophy here in GFS is pride, which means personal responsibility, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. In art, we're gonna have three different parts from that. The mission of art is going to be to create art with purpose. Our vision is going to be that art is an experiment. That means there are no mistakes. And our values are that always do your best. GFES pride. Now, what about safety? We've talked so much about safety these days. Now, all staff will be required to wear a face covering or face shields when the staff team measures cannot be maintained. That means that if you are doing face-to-face -face school, you will probably see me wearing a mask like this. I'm gonna take it off now so you can hear me better. Now, students regardless of age or grade level are required to wear a face covering. Some students under the age, age of eight, 10, I'm sorry, um, will need to be, wear this face covering if their parents or guardian determine that is developmentally appropriate for them to do so. All visitors must wear a face shield or face covering when social distancing cannot be maintained. 
This is really important. Now, just to end, I wanted to leave you with a quote of one of my favorite artists, which is Vincent Van Gogh. I am always doing what I cannot do yet in order to learn how to do it. In art, there are going to be, like I said, there are going to be no mistakes. We're going to try to have fun every time and to learn new things. Now, I can't wait to teach you art. I'll see you pretty soon. Bye.